I was asked a really rich question recently that I've thought a lot about. The question is, is when do boundaries become conflict avoidance? Hmm. So in my first, first thought about, about boundaries is how critically important they are, particularly now when there's so much stress and burnout and, and, diff and division in our culture that boundaries are really essential for survival and for, for great performance. So, so what, I, what I think of with boundaries and good boundaries are being able to say, hey, I only check email once every other day. So, so you, just so you know, you can manage that. Or I shut down my computer at 5.30 because my health and wellness are so important to my performance. So those are some boundaries. Another boundary that I think is really valuable is saying, hey, I realize that um, I need to agree to disagree with you. And I hope that's okay because, because I know we're not gonna get to a point where we are gonna be in total agreement on that. That's a bit of a, that's a boundary. Another boundary I think is really valuable that if someone wants to talk to you about something and it's really emotionally charged for you or it just puts you in overwhelm, I think a boundary that says right now I don't have the bandwidth or the emotional stability to be able to really have a great conversation about that and what I'd like to do is have some time to process it. So that's a really, really, really positive boundary. So there are zillions of boundaries, and of course they vary depending on the person, and you know we all need them, and that's that's how we create a container to be able to perform and do our best. So when do boundaries, though, become conflict avoidance? And so I believe I I thought of three different areas where they're conflict avoidance. Um, the first one is pretty plain and simple, and that is when we don't communicate the boundary because then we're assuming that people know. And if we don't communicate the fact that I don't answer emails every so often or that, um, that I can't have this conversation right now because I'm too, I'm too stretched, um, what happens is people perceive that as conflict avoidance, and it likely is because you're not really, you're just, you're just withdrawing into yourself. I believe that's, a high, that's something that happens a lot because many people are just really uncomfortable saying no or saying what they, or just asking for what they need. So that's number one is just not communicating what the boundary is. Number two, Number two, I think, is when um, we set a boundary that seems to last forever. So we might put somebody off, and in the example of, I, I don't have the bandwidth to do this right now, but every time it comes up again, we, we put it off. And so we're not really dealing with whatever the issue is. We're just putting it off. And so I think it's when that when that boundary becomes a forever excuse. Then the other thing, um, and, I, and I think this third one, uh, I mean, we'll see if, if I articulate this well, but if I've come together with a group of people and we have a specific intention on a project or something we're going to do as a team, but I'm not really committed to the intent around it. Um, but I don't ever say anything. But what I end up doing is I end up coming with a, up with a lot of excuses of when I, I can't participate. So every time they have a meeting, I've got some reason why I don't participate. And so I may be wanting to set a boundary, but what I'm doing is really avoiding a conflict that I have with whatever that project is. So I, I do think that boundaries can be conflict of avoidance. Um, but they're also essential, but, but you need to communicate them, you need to make them not forever, and really how, learn how to clearly communicate what your, what your needs are and be able to say, no, I can't do this right now. So those are my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts. 
So I'm Karen Valencic. I am the founder of Spiral Impact, and I thank you for listening in and love your, love your continued questions and your comments. Um, until next time, bye-bye.